Hi, my name is Tetracycloid, and this is my February build contest video. I'm showing you a build today that was born out of a conversation I had with someone on the Discord server where they challenged me to come up with a build where Rush Assassinate and Predator Shot could both one-shot a mercenary from full health at level 70 on Nightmare difficulty. And this is the build I came up with. So the first thing I did was maximize my crit chance at 100%, using every available crit stat I possibly could, including the Master of Waters, the Talon 10% crit chance engraving, and the Nemean Lion 5% crit chance engraving, as well as getting 7% crit or 14% crit chance at full health on every piece of gear you possibly can, and then investing some ability points into crit chance and crit chance while at full health, gives you a crit chance of 100%. And at 100% crit with Falks and the Master or Shadow Assassin ability, uh, you need about 480% uh, critical hit damage. Uh, this achieves the one shot with Rush Assassinate with less critical hit damage than that because I have added a little bit more Assassin damage. And the second thing that it does is it maximizes Predator Shot damage. Uh, there were a couple of things that I discovered when I was testing the optimal stat distribution for this build about Predator Shot that I think are applicable to all skills. Uh, the first is that percent damage with skills or percent damage with a specific skill, like the engravings that show up on weapons or the engravings that show up on your helmet, are additive with the damage bonuses on the skills themselves. So for a skill like Hero Strike, where the maximum bonus at level 3 is 100%, they are quite good. For a skill like Rush Assassinate, they're pretty decent. For a skill like Multishot, they're okay, but not amazing. So 10% Hunter damage here would be a little bit less than 5% damage. Uh, but on a skill like Predator Shot, they're pretty garbage. So they're not worth using. 35% uh, crit damage and headshot damage are both better than that for Predator Shot. The second thing I found out is that stats that would normally be good in a pure Hunter build that doesn't care about Assassin damage, like damage with bow charged shot, are not very good for Predator Shot, because Predator Shot doesn't seem to multiply those stats the way it multiplies your base Hunter damage. So you want to replace those uh, with hunter damage where you can, which is why I have 7% all damage on my torso as well as my boots instead of the 14% damage with bow charge shot. In a pure hunter build, I think I would put the damage with bow charge shot in those slots instead. And I would also rework my mastery abilities uh, to include some damage with bow charge shot. Just a quick look at the rest of my masteries. Now, crit and crit damage are both still good for Predator Shot. Poison damage is still good for Predator Shot. Uh, armor penetration is good for Predator Shot. Uh, hunter damage, like I said, quite good for Predator Shot. And headshot damage, quite good for Predator Shot. Now, the low level variant of this would be to drop all of the ability points that contribute to poison, to drop the three points out of Venomous Attacks, the three points out of Poison Mastery, the 14 points out of uh, the poison damage mastery, uh, to drop the poison damage from the chest and the bow, and the 30% elemental damage from the bow. And replace those with other DPS stats. Uh, on the chest, you would replace the poison damage with damage with bow charge shot. It doesn't add a lot to predator shot, but it adds some, and it's the only DPS stat left after you have crit damage and all damage. On the bow, you would replace poison damage with headshot damage. They're both pretty close. Poison damage is slightly better in a poison build, but in a non-poison build, obviously, you would put the headshot damage there. And then for the engraving, if you have it, you want to use the 25% hunter damage engraving. If you don't have the 25% hunter damage engraving, you would want to move the 100% damage but health cap to 25% engraving to the bow. And then on the spear, you would want to add 35% crit damage. And that would give you very similar one-shot potential with Predator Shot, only with death arrows instead of normal arrows after poison has been applied. 
and that's pretty much it. Um, those are the stats, those are the reasonings behind the stats, and the two major things that I discovered about skills while coming up with this build. So let's see it a little bit in action. I'm not going to show too much gameplay because, like I said, my computer struggles, especially with the audio uh, during these clips. But I want to kill a couple of mercenaries just to give you an idea of what kind of damage to expect. Um, oh, uh, one last thing. The poison damage. The reason you want to spec into poison damage once you get to the point where you can one-shot with Predator Shot is because the poison damage uh, will give you the same one-shot potential but will also benefit your normal attacks. Your normal bow attacks will be better, so you'll have those to fall back on if you absolutely need to, uh, as well as benefiting your melee attacks, which will be considerably stronger with poison damage. Your melee attacks are really weak without the poison damage. Um, they hit for maybe 6 or 7k, which is really tiny, and with the poison damage applied, they'll hit for 2 or 3k more than that. Uh, you can even get crits that are like somewhere in the hundreds of thousands if you take advantage of the combo finishers deal more damage when the combos contain both light and heavy attacks. So I happen to have a Merc in front of me. Let's just uh, check the stats real quick so you know that I'm not like bullshitting you. Uh, that's awareness and I believe weakness to melee damage. So it takes less damage from assassinations. So we're just going to use a bow attack instead. And that was uh, a little over 1.4 million damage with a predator shot. And that's a uh, level 69, probably not a good example. How's uh, your pull a mark in the fort? We can go kill that guy. So for an infiltration, like a fort, or any of the other objectives that you might find out on the map, you mostly want to use stealth and your normal assassination because of all the crit damage that we're stacking. Uh, even though our assassin damage is relatively low, uh, we can still one-shot any enemy that's not a mercenary or a pull mark um, Even strategos, who have a little more than half a million health, they'll easily die to just a normal assassination. Normal assassinate, kill the brute. Easy. There's just Strategio over there, so why don't we go ahead and track him down? Just so we can show that the normal assassination would kill him. Just run over here, tap F, kill the Strategio. One shot. Scout out the mods on this guy. The Glorious. Uh, weak to assassinations. It's probably not the best example, huh? Uh, there's a gray one over there. Well, let's go ahead and kill him. Oh, here's another one. Awareness. Wow, gosh. They're either weak or resistant. They know I'm recording a video here. I'm going to show off my uh, mad assassination damage if uh, everything is resistant. Well, getting in some... Uh, Good predator shot for the Jedi's.
Come on. Here's one. You the one? There we go, finally. One that's not weak or resistant to assassinations. A fair test. Alright. Let's go one shot this mercenary with Rush Assassinate. Just to say that it's possible. There he goes. Alright. There you have it. One shot mercenary at level 70 on Nightmare. On Nightmare. With Predator Shot and Rush Assassinate in the same build. Thank you, and have a good February.